What's up guys, EK Crazy Russian with Rick at uh, his place layout. It's fancy and it's cool, so he will explain everything. Okay. I'm modeling the Waynesburg Washington Railroad as, as it existed in uh, 1956. And this is the town of Washington in the Washington Yard. I model this because my grandfather grew up in Washington and uh, the Dunn Station that uh, was on the Waynesboro Washington line back in 1920s was uh, built on my grandmother's farm and they named it her name was Dunn and they named it Dunn Station so that's that's the reason I model what I model and the Dunn Station is back there in the corner that's a prototype scene with the baseball field down at the bottom with the trestle and everything That's so cool. Alright. And I believe oil in this region. Yes, gets... there's a lot of oil in the area and as well as coal. There's still mining coal in the area. Still? Oh yeah. wow. In fact, the best coking coal in the world is from this region. Use a lot of coke oh. for the steel industry, and I, I model a, a steel mill as well, which we will see. That's a repeated RS11. ESU Lux sound, I believe. Yes. Yes, ESU sound. And I like those antennas. Yes. It's very unique. Always look for pencil. And it's um, era of... Nin uh, yeah, 1956. That's when the Pensy actually acquired the RS-11s is in 56. This section of the layout was started in 1988. And I've built my layout in three phases. What we've just filmed so far is phase one. Uh, the reason for that is my children were young. I had four kids and they needed a basement to play in. So as they grew up and got older and left, I built phase two and phase three. So we will be seeing phase two here shortly. The main reason uh, I'm on layout, I want to learn uh, about Pensy signals and I got perfect explanation. Thank you, sir, very much. No problem. Yes, I just. Uh, kind of crystallize everything. Yeah, the North Fork and Western use the same system as Pensy. So cool. So I'm building right now for Pensy layout. Okay, let's uh, keep rolling. Okay, this is phase two. This is our uh, Chartier's coal branch. And at the in the distance is the town of Cannonsburg. And Cannonsburg supports the Hearst steel mill. Sounds like familiar of the brand. The Cannesburg? Cannesburg. Yeah, it's a little town about 25 miles north of Washington. It sits in between Pittsburgh and Washington, Pennsylvania. That's, this is the town of Cannesburg, and that was a skewed bridge we just saw. We built that bridge. It's supposed to be a railroad bridge, but we turned it into a highway bridge. And of course, now we're getting the steel mill. I love steel mills because they justify a lot of railroad traffic. That's engine familiar. Atlas. Yeah, it's a H1044. Nice. You did the decoder, right? Yourself? Yeah, I did a lot of the decoders myself. Uh, excellent. So you guys customize your stuff, yeah. doing yourself. Yeah. All right. So that's huge. Yeah. We got the high line back there, and uh, I actually have staging behind the skyboard for the high line. The ducks behind the skyboard behind a blast furnace. That's big. 